All right, guys, welcome back at the Wizard in PSU. So, ignore the motherboard flashing itself back in the background today. We are gonna overclock our i7 9700K on a Z390 MSI motherboard. It's on a pre built. This is a Trident X Plus, but it's gonna work for every i7 9700K. So, let's get straight into it. Okay, so now once we're in the BIOS, you wanna go on overclocking mode or AI tweaking if you have an ASUS board. Just go into there, and then you will set the overclock explore mode to expert or manual depending on the board. This first part of the tutorial is gonna be for achieving a five gigahertz all core overclock. So you wanna go on CPU ratio apply mode, set it to all core. And then on CPU ratio, you hit 50 in order to reach five gigahertz. Now, under here on uh, CPU ratio mode, you wanna see it set fixed. And then on CPU ratio offset when running AVX, you wanna hit minus one. You want to go on miscellaneous settings, no need to use these. And now you want to go all the way down until you find something that's called digit all power or CPU power or VRMs, something like that. You want to go on there and then on the load line calibration mode, you hit level four. Now, depending on the motherboard, you might have different numbers. You want to put the one in the middle. So if you have from one to six, put level three. We have from one to eight, so I put level four. Okay. Now you want to go all the way down until you find something called CPU core voltage. And now over here, you wanna hit 1.35. Hit enter and the tutorial is over. But for those of you that are still here, I will discuss a couple more settings. Now, 1.35 volt is quite a bit of voltage. So that is actually putting quite a bit of heat on your CPU. If your cooler cannot handle this and you wanna spend the time to test it, this can work with everything going from 1.28 okay all the way to 1.375 okay you have these voltage ranges depending on your uh, cpu now with 1.375 if you're lucky you might be able to run even 5.2 gigahertz and the cpu ratio offset when running avx this one is just here to make overclocking easier because 5 gigahertz is usually the barrier for, for this architecture but you can set it to zero if you have better cooling but the difference in actual performance is going to be minimal. So I recommend keeping it to minus one. And also, again, be sure to enable your XMP profile. And then again, remember to disable all the limits on your motherboard. So for example, a wattage limit, put that to the maximum. And all those things, be sure to unlock these, okay? Well, if you liked it, be sure to drop a like and subscribe. And see you in the next one, guys. Bye. Oh, and by the way, yes, the flashback actually worked. And now we have this 1200K working, so that's nice, but not well channeled so far.